joined on the line by Kaylee Clifford from Africa Check. Kaylee, thank, uh, thank you very much. Uh, she joins us via Skype, rather. Thank you very much uh, for your time. So one that has been doing the rounds on WhatsApp uh, a lot is uh, an image of Dettol and behind it with uh, corona uh, writings to say, you know, this will help you uh, disinfect. What do we know about that? Fact or fiction? So this claim is, as you say, has been doing the rounds on WhatsApp, and you can see the back of the Dettol bottle with the label saying that, you know, Dettol can kill a number of different bacteria, including viruses such as the coronavirus. And this really got people wondering about the properties of Dettol. Um, pretty much, though, as soon as this picture started doing the rounds, Dettol released a statement to say that, you know, previously some of their products have proven effective to be against previous strains of the virus, but this latest virus that was discovered in Wuhan late last year, health authorities have not made that strain available to them. So they've not actually been able to test their product against it. So uh -huh. for now, it's false. Please finish your thought. Yes, so, the, so that's a false piece of information. A hot bath or steaming, can that prevent COVID-19? This is also a piece of false advice and it's something that we're seeing different variations of on social media. Um, pretty much in each instance that we looked into, there was no evidence to support that steam can be effective in any way when it comes to curing the coronavirus or preventing it. Um, so not only is it not effective, but it can actually also be you know, potentially quite dangerous if you're breathing in this hot steam, you could end up burning yourself. So best to keep it simple by following the, the usual precautions that the World Health Organization has been advocating for. Staying on steamy solutions, um, opposed to saying that uh, boiling orange peels and inhaling uh, that steam can prevent the virus. Yes, yeah, so this is one of several fact checks that we've been doing around home remedies and whether they can cure or prevent the coronavirus. Um, as I say, there's not much scientific evidence to support these claims, and I think that's really important and, and a point to highlight is that when it comes to these home remedies like boiling orange peels or gargling salt water and vinegar, um, you want your health advice to come from health professionals. So experts and doctors, not, not things that you're seeing on social media. Fact or fiction, have scientists in the United States created a vaccine for the new virus? So there's obviously a lot of interest in, in a vaccine for the coronavirus. And we're seeing variations of this claim again that a vaccine was developed here or there. This particular message is doing the rounds on WhatsApp and it claims that scientists in the United States have developed a, a vaccine. But we couldn't find any credible reports from other news organizations supporting this. And you would assume that if it were true, it would have been covered quite widely in the media. But we, we also got in touch with the World Health Organization just to be doubly sure. And um, we just touched base with them on the work that they are doing around vaccination. So they explained a few things to us. The one thing that we have to bear in mind is that vaccinations take years to develop. Of course, given you know the seriousness of this situation, they are working quite quickly to try and develop one. And there are a number of clinical trials and, and research activities taking place. But um, the results of these are not expected for another few weeks. So as we speak, there is no cure, there is no vaccine, there is no treatment for COVID-19. So essentially, Kaylee, uh, think twice before you forward those WhatsApp messages. Thank you very much uh, for helping us figure out what's fact or fiction. Kaylee Clifford from Africa Check.